Do you know this is a private room? I don't know who you are, sir. But I know who you are. Oh, yes, and I know why you're here, too. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. So shall we have a chat about this rocket base, General Perkins? Now, however did you find out? Well, I read Time magazine, too, you know. <laughs> well, pretty sharp, Mr. Uh... Uh, uh, McKillop. <laughs> Mr. McKillop, I guess I might just as well lay my cards right on the table. Go ahead, General. I'm listening. This one works. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we get down to business? Major. Professor. Now then, Mr. McKillop. Very odd. You remind me of someone. Um, uh, General, you, uh, you have an appointment, sir? I'm sorry, General. I'm at your disposal. Now then. You see that? It's a map of sleep. Yep. I understand you're the mayor here. Yes, that is so. And you own a good bed of this here town? That's right. The bed's marked in pencil there. That's right. All those beds, why, we want to buy them. All of them? Professor, now, you are sure this is the only spot for the launch inside? Yeah, I heard you well. According to my calculations, the direction of the rocket D with the velocity V and an energy equal to whoa, one million... Whoa, hold it, Professor. I intend to leave all that scientific stuff to you. My job is to set up this rocket base. Now, if you say we need the whole square, then we'll have to have it. Yeah, the whole square. Not only that, but the whole area around it. We'll have to get all the people out before they start demolition. But that's almost the entire town. Sir, I don't intend to haggle over the price. It'll cost a fortune buying this property. Quieting the leases, paying people off to move. You're the mayor, so I can tell you this in straight confidence. I'm authorized to bid as high as a uh, million. A million dollars? Pounds, sir. Pounds, did you say? Sir, I did not say peanuts. <laughs> <laughs>